going into a museum. Gas museum. <laughs> yes. Conoco. Conoco Gas Museum. <laughs> Leslie found this. <laughs> so if it so sucks. <laughs> I knew you were going to blame me. <laughs> It's part of it's part of Ponca City history. So we're in Ponca City, Oklahoma. If you've never heard of that, it's um, it's about 15 miles south of the Kansas border, yeah. just across Oklahoma. They have a big petro refinery here. Yeah, yeah, where they process fuel and oil. Philip 66 refinery. Yeah, Philip 66, Conoco, and. 76 yeah. all push their, their gas out of here <laughs> I gotta get a couple of gas jokes in man because I mean if the museum sucks at least we got gas jokes <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go all right For your safety and mine, please stay off the wagon. <laughs> We're at the Marland Mansion. I never knew gas could be so interesting. <laughs> this is going to be another Uranus day. You said Uranus. <laughs> she said Uranus. <laughs> I had to. You couldn't say you know what day. I wasn't going to talk about Uranus, but we can if you want. I was just going to talk about gas. They're kind of related. <laughs> Anyway, they tie in together. We're at the Marland <laughs> Estate. Yes. And this was the mansion. Um, George Marland was the founder of Marland Oil, Oil Tycoon Company, and he was the big dude. Mm -hmm. And they eventually merged with Conoco. Yeah. And that's where Conoco came from. Well, merged with J.P. Morgan. No, J.P. Morgan's one took all the money. Marland Gas Company merged with Conoco. Uh, okay. And he actually lost all his money, but Conoco kept going. Yes. Uh, but he used to live here. At the Marlin yeah. Estate Mansion. This is like state of the art back in the early 1900s. This is, yeah, this is 1920s. Top notch. We haven't been inside but, yet. No, I'm so excited.
That was way cooler than I thought it was going to be. You're welcome. <laughs> the Marland Mansion. It's phenomenal. It's a crazy place. Um, Unreal. There's 55 rooms. Yeah, and to talk through that and, and you know, really insane. kind of just trying to take it all in while we're going through it it's ourselves. It, yeah. Um, to be able to convey, you know, what, what, what we're showing. The majority of the furnishings are original. Most That's of them are. What's so You see the little black ribbons with the little gold emblem in the middle. Yeah, All original stuff, which was just insane, crazy. Um, built in 1927, opened in 1928. It cost $5.5 million to build in 1927. I can't imagine oh. how much that is today, but it's a little lot. Yeah. <laughs> But um, if you're in the Ponca City, Oklahoma area. Oh, it's a must. Yeah, we were just kind of kicking around looking for something to do. Yeah, and I had found the, the museum and the house. Yeah. But had no idea. I saw pictures online. We're history. like, eh. Yeah. We're going to check it out. Yeah. It's only a few bucks. The impact this, those two things just had on the Ponca City. Yeah. It's crazy. The Conoco Museum was free. Yeah. And then this was 10 bucks a person for adults, but for seniors and military discounts, 8 bucks a person. So, yeah. Yeah. Worth it. Well worth it. Oh my gosh. But they have really guided cool. tours at, at a certain times, but we didn't catch one of those. Yeah, and you can probably see in the in the footage that they do weddings here. Yes. And what's crazy is it's not expensive. No, it's very affordable. Uh, the, one of the areas, I think the upstairs area was like, what? $1,700. Seven? I thought you said a thousand. Or a thousand. Seventeen total between the two. Yeah. And the downstairs... Well, for two weddings. Yeah. The so, downstairs one is seven hundred. So the most expensive wedding type is a thousand dollars. That's crazy. Yeah. For this place. To have a wedding in this place. And then your wedding photos are going to be out on the lawn, on the balconies, on the... We, uh, all the yeah. It's going to be super cool. Yeah. For whoever gets married here. One getting married tonight and then one, one getting tomorrow. married tomorrow. So that's really cool. Lucky people. But um, anyway. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing the Marlin Mansion. We enjoyed going through it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hidden gems on the road, man. You never know what you're going to find. Yeah. Little towns have a lot to offer. Yeah, so when you get to a little town, just look up, talk to the locals. So yeah. we did. We went to the Conoco Museum. We talked to the local there. Mm -hmm. And she had a bunch of information Mission, for us. Yeah. And there's a bunch more stuff to see here that we're probably not going to get to see now because we probably. just didn't know that all the stuff existed. Yeah. But talk to the locals. And that's how you get to see all the cool stuff. And it's not that expensive. No. I mean, no. 16 bucks for a day. Yeah. All day. All day entertainment. And we met some people at the museum over at the Conoco Museum. We talked to them for a couple hours. They were cool. People, locals. Yeah. She was getting ready to turn 91 years old. Yeah. Knew a lot of Next people week. around here. Yeah. And um, her father worked for this man. For, yeah. In the for, very uh, beginning. Marlin. Yeah. Uh, it, and then the it went into Conoco. Yeah. So he worked for Conoco. Which is crazy to meet yeah. her. And yeah. her mother, she was telling us all kinds of stories. That, yeah. Her mother was born here in Ponca City in 1906 before it was, it was Oklahoma. Yeah. It was still it was Indian an territory. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. <laughs> insane. To know somebody who's still it's alive. Yeah. Or to have met somebody who's still alive. Still alive. Who, who has ties to... To the area. Yeah, Indian territory. Indian, yeah, that's insane. Because there's a lot man. of Indian history. Yeah, because Oklahoma general. didn't become a state until 1907. She said, I don't know if that's accurate. Yeah. I have to look that up. But yeah. Anyway, very cool. Very, very cool day. Yeah. And we hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you ever see Ponca City, cool. stop and see it. Super cool. So cool. Um, but we're gonna wrap it up like we do at the end of all of our videos. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. So stick around for that for a few, few seconds. And we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.